Today's outfit of the day is called pretending it's not snowing outside. Which, to be fair, is technically not snowing outside right here because I basically live on the sea. But if you walk over the hill, it's snowing. Either way, it's freezing and this outfit is a house only outfit, which I'm very sad about because I wanted to wear it to London on Friday, but just not in the mood for losing toes. So it's gonna be a house only outfit for the time being. So top down earrings are Monica Veneta. Zara top, this was gonna be my Loewe top, but the blue denim is scaring me and if and if I get any dye transfer, I w uh, it will ruin my entire 2023. Like that would make me shed tears. So I'm just wearing a plain white Zara one. And then my shirt is also from Zara. You're kind of getting a little bit of a sneak peek for an upcoming video. My spring outfits is coming. Um, and this is just one of the outfits that I was so excited about. Uh, and I couldn't wait to wear it. Skirt is from, I got it off John Lewis and I believe the brand is Hush. These are like impossible to get hold of at the moment. Um, Zara do a few, but they're very long. And if you're like a shorter girl, it just means your skirt's gonna be dragging on the floor. And unless you wanna like raw hem it, it's probably a no-go. So I went for something that looked so short online and I genuinely thought it was gonna just come past my knee. So the length is great if you're a five foot two girly or anything around that, I would definitely recommend this one if you can still get it. I will link it either way if it's still around. Um, and then my cowboy boots are from Urban Outfitters. They come in and out of stock every so often, but um, I will try and link similar as always in the info box but yeah that is my outfit of the day i actually love it i didn't think i was gonna love this but i love it so much i'm a denim girly till i die so that is my outfit of the day we need to get some makeup on this face though i actually i'm not gonna go crazy on the makeup today because i'm just actually really enjoying like my natural skin today just i'm having a day and i'm this is not normal so i'm going to embrace it and then i'll probably regret it when i edit this video back but it's fine also you guys the rhubarb is coming back spring is nearly here also this thing here i think it's like a camellia it has never ever flowered but i think you guys this could be the year if we just if the cold doesn't freeze the buds off, things might happen. I'm so excited. However, what I'm not excited about is the monumental gardening session that needs to happen very, very soon. Do you guys want to see it? <laughs> Does anyone want to see that? Um, I definitely need to go to the garden center and get some bits. I'm just waiting for it to warm up. I'm not like, I'm not an outdoor girly. I'm not going out there right now. It's just not happening. I actually cannot wait for spring though, like once it is warm enough for me to get outside, I am gonna be all over my veg patch this spring. I'm so, I'm just so looking forward to it. It just looks a bit dead now. So I'm excited to get out there, grow some veggies. Ryan has said that he will help me tend to them because he is in and out of the garden every day to get in and out of the studio. So I can't wait for spring, I cannot wait. Also, I didn't get a chance to say in my, do I want it like that? I didn't get a chance to say in my last vlog before I ended it, but I wanted to say thank you so much for all of the lovely comments on my, what was it called? Everything I bought this month. The week before and the week of filming that, I felt like I was having such a confidence crisis. And I think because I was trying so many new outfit styles, I was just feeling really nervous and worried. And I just had it in my head that everyone was gonna hate all of the outfits. And I was just so, so nervous. like. I didn't want to put the video live. That's how nervous I was. And you were all so sweet. Like so many people have come off of YouTube and like DM'd me on Instagram to be like, I really like the way you styled this. I love this. And um, to everyone that has said something lovely, I'm trying to get back to everyone, but like I'm literally one person trying to do a million things in life right now. To everyone who has said something lovely, Thank you so, so much because I'm a big scaredy cat now when it comes to putting out content. I don't know why, I don't know what's wrong with me at the moment, but it makes all of the difference. So thank you so, so much. I also forgot to say that there is gonna be like a little spring series coming up. So all of the, oh, there's fluff in the air. Um, all of the videos that you see coming up, I think after this one are gonna be like spring themed. So I have like spring haul and like capsule lookbook style video and spring wedding guest dresses. There's gonna be home bits. I'm so, so excited. I'm so ready for spring. The weather sucks right now. So I'm taking it upon myself to all get us mentally moving forward. But yeah, today's outfit 
is a little sneak peek and I'm so so excited to be working on all of that content I'm just oh can't wait can't wait for spring summer it's gonna be great but anyway let's get some makeup on my face and side note this section of the video is going to contain a paid for integrated partnership with Merit Beauty which I'm so excited about so if you don't know backstory there is a video that I filmed with Alana when we were in France in October and I don't know if it made it into the video but there was a point where she was like have you tried Merit Beauty like we were talking about so many different beauty brands and I was like no I haven't and the video hadn't even gone live and then there was an email in the inbox that was like from Merit Beauty saying would you like to try some stuff we're going to be launching in the UK um would you like to try some bits and I was like if it's good enough for Alana it's good enough for me I want to try and then as you guys will know I tried out a lot of their stuff and I love so much of it the mascara in particular is like my holy grail favorite I love it I've been using it so much I've mentioned it so many times it's now available to purchase which I'm so excited for you all because it's it's great it just gives the best most fluttery lashes i have been using it non-stop i think for at least three months but i love it it's still going strong i'm obsessed with it i use it every single day as you guys will know because i do my makeup in like every vlog to the point where it's probably annoying i'm super excited to be working with them today they've asked me if i would do a full kind of introduction to the brand for you guys because i have literally tried so many things and love so many things so we're gonna do a little overview now i'm gonna start applying products whilst i tell you more about merit because we have got a lot to do today so i'm starting off with the great skin instant glow serum and this is just such a gorgeous base for makeup it like really injects like this boost of hydration into the skin it is stunning and it gives the most gorgeous glow if you're a no makeup makeup girly like a real no makeup makeup girly this is something you need to try it is beautiful i could put that all over my whole body it is just stunning the bottle is also stunning as well so the products are like luxury products but at a more affordable price point than you would normally find with a luxury brand this is another favorite of mine that you will have seen me use so many times it's the bronze balm i I am in love with this i literally use this every single day it gives the most gorgeous bronzy glow i just love it so much especially like now in the winter when i just need like a boost of bronzy dewiness this is just stunning and the formula is so lightweight like so easy to blend you saw that that it literally blends in like two seconds but it's buildable and you know for me like i need to have buildable products i love being able to do like a no makeup makeup look but i also love a full natural glam and i love for my products to be able to do both and that is something that merit does so so well in addition to being super lightweight and buildable everything is vegan the formulas are all eu compliant and they're great for acne prone and sensitive skin so everything is non-contagenic and that is something that i love so much because you know what my skin is like my skin can be so temperamental i just never know when something's going to upset it and i haven't had a problem with any of their products which is just so rare basically unheard of so yeah i've been so impressed with their products so far i'm just going to show you how well this builds up like that one layer was great um but i'm feeling extra pale at the moment uh you will have heard me complain so much in my last vlog about it so we are gonna build this up a little bit and that is just the forehead bronze of my dreams I love a little nose bronze as well i know we all go on about blush on the nose and i adore blush on the nose but never forget bronzer across the nose and kind of cheek area if you're feeling a little bit more on the pale side it makes all the difference it adds such a nice little bit of like sun-kissed definition to the face and by the way if you want to pick any of these products up you get the makeup bag it ships free with every first order and this makeup bag i am upset like you guys will know when i got sent it i just loved it so much i still love it i use it every single day it is the cutest thing it looks so good in my home like i don't normally like leaving my makeup bags out on the sides because they just don't look good but this one is stunning i love her so much she's so cute um actually when they sent me products they were like what would you like to try and i sent a list of products but i was like begging for this makeup bag that they had on their website i was like do you do this because this makeup bag is the cutest thing ever if so please 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 could you send this one out as well and so i just love that you get that with every first order it's just such a nice little touch and it's just the best like you can make it as small or as big as you like basically 
by how tight you want to tie this like i fit so much makeup in this it's insane and there's also free shipping over 40 dollars and there's free returns as well which is amazing to even up my skin a little bit i'm using the minimalist in the shade e crew this is such a gorgeous complexion product so you can use this either to conceal which i think you might have seen me use it for this in the last vlog um but you can also use it very very lightly as a foundation as well so it's really multifunctional i'm using the shade e crew right now but i also have a couple of other colors i have orchard june and sand so june is much lighter i use that more to highlight and then sand will be my summer color but e crew is just perfect right now and it covers so well so watch this please excuse the state of my face at the moment i need to do some serious beauty tlc tonight but the coverage of this is so so beautiful it's really natural but really good coverage and i've just been so impressed with it just gives the most gorgeous like dewy finish to the skin i'm obsessed with it not that i need more dewiness but we're gonna add the highlighting balm in bounce this just gives that real like glass skin look it is so stunning like look at that glow i feel like i'm making really good time with this makeup look this is great because i actually don't have a lot of time today everything just blends out so quickly i'm just going to be using the flush balm cheek color in the shade beverly hills again you may have seen this recently this is just such a beautiful creamy blush so i just stipple this in really quickly over my cheeks and the tops of my cheekbones and then i do a little bit on my nose so that is one layer and it is gorgeous and you can really build the color up have i gone too far can you ever go too far in my opinion no these flush balm cheek colors come in so many shades as well i have so many of them next i'm going to be using the lengthening mascara in the shade perfect black this mascara needs no introduction from me because love it so much and you guys have heard me rave about this so much this is going to be so hard for me to do in the viewfinder but here we go so i am normally a plastic one girl but this mascara has truly converted me like look at that i just don't understand like what sorcery is this please ignore this group of lashes that are currently just sticking together they i don't know what they're doing they're drunk i mean you guys have seen my lashes like every day for the past three months they have been looking sensational this is without double dipping the brush this is my bad eye as well this is my bad eye this is my bad eye i just i just got like they just look unreal i just love how crazy buildable it is but with like it's nala what is what is that noise oh my little scruffy my little scruffy do you want to sit there if you hear any like weird noises it's not me it's my dog anyway as i was saying obsessed i need to do my brows because I actually forgot to do them yesterday. Um, I had to like go back and do them. I got to the point of like, you know, being ready to go on with the day. And I was like, why is, what is different? And I realized I hadn't done this. So this, I almost forgot to say, is the volumizing pomade in the shade brown. This keeps my brows in place all the live long day. And honestly, if I didn't like to neaten up like the bottom and have to fill in actual gaps like that literally have no hair on them i would literally just use this because it just it it makes them stay but it also gives pigment but it thickens i'm gonna add a little bit more to the front here as well because this brow is just so much darker so the fact that this has pigment is amazing because it does mean that i can like add a little bit more to this brow and kind of level them out anyway moving on because i am just chatting forever i am going to finish up i have two well i have three lip products that i use on rotation so i've got the merit tinted lip oil in au natural which is stunning just such a nice lip oil um but i also have the signature lip in the shade slip which is such a nice barely there neutral nude really really gorgeous but lots of you all know my favorite signature lip is in the shade baby it's looking a little bit battered and loved as it should so you can really build this up or you can just like dab on a little bit so that's just it dabbed on really really lightly and you will have seen me apply this in a few videos i love it and i love the shade name it's so cute i'm gonna like build it up really quickly so you can see what you can expect if you fully 
kind of went to town with it. I love it built up as well. It's just gorgeous. The formula is so lovely, like really, really creamy. But it doesn't feel heavy, doesn't feel sticky. It's just absolutely stunning. I honestly am just such a big fan of Merit products. Like they just make my like natural skin look so gorgeous and i love that and everything feels so like lightweight not heavy not like cakey it is just such a beautiful brand and a really good one for all makeup abilities as well like you really can't go wrong with their products and that is something that i love so much it's like fail safe like if i just don't really if i want to do makeup and i don't want to pay too much attention full face of merit goes on the face because you really can't mess it up everything is just gorgeous and buildable and yeah just love merit so much so thank you very much to them for sponsoring this segment of the video i i need to zoom you guys out i no we don't we don't need to be this close and personal with me all the time feels really weird now i'm zoomed out be right back just cleaning up my mascara mess i does is there a person alive that can like apply mascara without getting it all over their face because i would like to meet her also yes i am putting bronzer on my eyeballs okay i feel so ready to get on with the day now i'm so happy with this makeup look it just i feel so fresh anyway let's get on with the day so we have got some serious wardrobe organization to get done today and i have worked things over a couple of days and it is so much easier to pack if your wardrobe is in order and my wardrobe is not we need to have a serious rejig so we are going to do that i'm going to make myself some food first because i have not had breakfast and i am starving but yeah we need to sort this i also need to sort out the bags that i am selling because as promised we are doing the sale at the end of the month i'm gonna kind of like show you guys what i'm thinking of selling however if there are any bags that you want that i haven't talked about uh just dm me just see how i'm feeling what i'm vibing with just having a little moment to try on the loewe <clears throat> please excuse my voice to try on the loewe tank with this outfit i can confirm it is goals it's so good it's so good oh my god i cannot wait to put together my spring capsule wardrobe outfits video for you if you like denim it's gonna be a fair bit of denim obsessed anyway let's get on with the day okay so this is what we are working with in here it's not the worst like it's really <laughs> she says it's really not the worst i just need to do some finessing in here and like this hasn't really changed like it's had some new additions but the bulk of what's in this wardrobe hasn't really changed since i put everything in it when it was all finished last autumn so there are definitely pieces that i'm wearing more and some that i am not wearing so much that i want to like rotate out like these blazers i still haven't worn them and i don't think it's that i won't ever wear them i think it's just they don't need to be in this wardrobe like they can go into the other wardrobes that i don't go in like every day like this i actually wear more in the evenings so this is not an everyday item t-shirts are all fine yes i hang my pajamas because i'm weird like that but yeah we've got like some things doubled up on hangers and stuff that we can definitely sort that out and free up some of these hangers by putting them in the other room okay I have not worn this in so long. So this is 100% going in the other room. So is this suit. I'm sure I will wear this at some point, but I'm just not wearing it right now. We need like some more springy weather before that happens. This is also going. My black blazer, that can stay. Same for the gray. I love the gray so much. I actually just got a baby blue. I cannot wait for that. I cannot wait to try it on. This is more nighttimey and dressy. So that's going in the wardrobe room. This I love, but again, more like formal. Formal. I just want like my everyday stuff in this wardrobe, just so it makes getting dressed so easy. Like I want it to be a full capsule wardrobe. And for the most part, like especially with all of the jeans and trousers it is such a good capsule wardrobe it's amazing just in terms of like what we had going on up here it wasn't quite right this shirt i love so that's staying obviously the zara bombers uh my black coat and my black puffer all staying and then we just got like nice everyday black knitted tops which are just ooh, super easy to style up i love these so i'm super happy with those they're all gonna stay and we've just got simple t-shirts which again super easy for styling love those they can all stay 
I've got this Zara dress and it's been hanging in there, but I still haven't worn it. I'm gonna put this in the wardrobe room because I just have a feeling that I might get more wear out of this in like spring, summer. Like this would be really cute for meetings in summer. So I don't want to give up on that yet. Okay, I've got my blue shirt, which is going to stay. I've got this lily silk jacket, which is more dressy. So that can go in my dress section in the wardrobe. And then I can use the hanger for this. And that means I can put some stuff in the wardrobe now. Later. My one regret with this wardrobe is not having had a taller section put in to accommodate boots. That would just make this wardrobe complete for me. I was really silly in not thinking about that. But I guess come summer, I won't wear them as much and this is going to be perfect for all of my summer shoes so maybe it'll be fine anyway i'm gonna put some trainers in here tell a lie i'm adding some boots i'm gonna leave this space here for the boots that i am wearing so it actually doesn't look better but it is so just know that i also have a couple of dresses that i've pulled out for tomorrow night which i'm gonna put in the girls group chat and i think i have the base of an outfit for friday so i just need something for tomorrow and we are good to go fingers crossed and fingers crossed i don't freeze okay no i know what i'm wearing i'm so glad i did not depop this coat this is your sign to not get rid of everything on a whim because this mango coat is going to save me over the next couple of days i literally i'm just going to change a pair of jeans and the top and it'll be a different look but like keeping the same shoes in the same coat so easy packing i was really stressing this is great Okay, done with the packing and the wardrobe organizing. Now I am just sorting out a few of the bits that I'm gonna sell. There may be more, there may be more. I don't know what to do with like Balenciaga stuff. Let me know your opinion on that guys. I just don't know what to do with it. Um, but we've got shoes that unfortunately just haven't really gotten the wear. So these have never been worn. They're the Rosie Huntington Whiteley Gaia collection shoes and I haven't gotten the wear out of either of them. So I'm going to be selling them on. I'm also going to be parting ways with my YSL Sac de Jour in the mustard color. I just don't get enough wear out of it. I don't think I'm a yellow girl. So sadly, we're gonna be parting ways and it's done me well. Like I really enjoy wearing this to weddings when I would wear a lot of warm colors, but now that I've got a gold clutch, I prefer to wear that. So yeah, this one is gonna go up for sale. I also have Gucci sliders, uh, which are gonna go up for sale, which are basically, I think nearly new. Uh, these are brand new, I bought these. These are a size five, but they're a very wide five. So they will slip right off my feet. And at first I bought them like spring time and I thought peak summer, I'd probably get more wear out of them because my feet would be more swollen. No. So if you are a wide five bordering on a six and you fancy them, take a look at those. Also gonna be selling my little H&M bag because I just don't wear it enough, but it's just so sweet. So yeah, that's there if anyone wants it. My Chloe Faye is also gonna go into the sale. I'm also gonna be selling my tiny green Jacquemus bag. It is very small. This is my hand for reference. Um, but yeah, if anyone wants that, that's gonna be on sale. The Chloe, what are you even called? I can't remember, the Chloe test bag, uh, which is still like new after all of these years. She's not one of my favorite bags, so I haven't worn her that much, but I think it's time to say goodbye to this one because I've just never really gotten enough wear out of her and she is beautiful and stunning and deserves to go to a lovely home. And then my white Givenchy Antigona, this one has, I don't know if you'll be able to see on camera, there's a little bit of discoloration here. In some lights, you can barely tell it's there. And then if I put it like down here, you can see it a lot more. This is literally just from the bag existing. Like, and you hear some people say that about white bags, but it really is the case. However, the rest of the bag is looking so good. It's literally just that top bit of fabric, which is just slowly discoloring. 
over time so that's a bit sad but she is in great condition other than that and i'm just not really getting the wear out of my antagonas now so um it's time for this one to go to a new home so that is what i've lined up so far if there's anything else just dm me and let me know if any of you want the balenciaga stuff like i said really don't know what to do with it but anyway i've got a meeting to go to now so i will see you guys a bit later <laughs> Saint-Tropez Luxe Whipped Cream Mousse because I need to be tanned and I need to be tanned ASAP. It's six o'clock, gonna put this on now, rinse it off at nine and I should have the perfect glow tomorrow morning. <laughs> to meet someone, one of my favorite people for lunch. And then I have a very exciting event for International Women's Day with Harper's Bazaar and Play the Pro. And I feel like I've told you this already, but anyway, let's go for lunch. Look who my day is. We're back. Oh my God, you look so cute today. The navy, is it navy? Yeah, the navy and the gold is such a vibe. And the hand jewelry is also a vibe. Look at this. Why do I not I have one out of ten fingers without a ring. I am obsessed I'm with deranged. this. I'm actually deranged. deranged. I also love the nail colour. This is like, it's just so pretty. No, I want your nails. I want the shape. I feel like I said this in my life. <laughs> we just love the nails. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Yum. We are about to make absolute tits of ourselves. So <laughs> right outside the restaurant. <laughs> like, well. there's people watching us. I need them to see. <laughs> <laughs> so I've just checked into my room at I think this hotel is called the Biltmore it's very nice and we have got some goodies over here oh my god these cotton pads they are like next level unreal oh my god this gold mask is incredible I love it wait wait what <gasps> the creme oh my god please bear with me I'm dying this is unreal oh and also the bathroom oh good mirror oh my god and good lighting and the bathroom this bathroom is incredible these tiles are beautiful like i love this mix of the hexagon and then the kind of square gray tile it's stunning i'm excited to get ready in here i feel like an actual potato today you know when you've been like rained on and yeah the vibes are just it's not vibing so i also immediately feel a hundred times more uncomfortable the second i am not like at home with my own wardrobe so the second i have to pack all my stuff into a suitcase at the moment i feel like vulnerable like i don't have all my stuff i suddenly hate all of my outfits even though i tried them on the day before and i love them having a weird crisis whenever i leave the house at the moment but i'm blaming the weather because it's just so miserable but yeah let's get ready let's get ready for this evening i took a chance i consulted many people and we've all decided that i'm gonna wear i was gonna go shopping and try and find some gold shoes to go with this evening's outfit and actually i'm just gonna wear i'm gonna wear some pink shoes that i already have and hope that it goes and we're just gonna call it like spring vibes but anyway we need to get today's makeup off because uh i need to start again with no spf uh because i think we're gonna be doing flash photos this evening we do not want flashback face so let's get on ready to get ready <laughs> ready for dinner my dress is from house of cb i'm wearing a very old valentina rock stub but i tell you what this looks so gorgeous with this dress like especially in real life it really pops um and then i've got a little pair of dior shoes on but to be honest you can barely see them so i'm glad i didn't go and pick up uh, a more fitting pair of shoes this bag is also great because you can just adjust the strap so i can wear it as a shoulder bag i don't have to think about it too much if i don't want to but it can also be a cute little clutch i am wearing some original amelia liana like og earring designs i love these i dug them out this morning i think opals just work perfectly with this look so i'm wearing like all opal or opal inspired jewelry i need to go i'm gonna risk hypothermia and not wear a coat so i will see you in a bit let's hope i survive the cold you showing my susie wannabe tattoo inspired by oh my god you want so definitely to be a cool girl but you Last time we had this chat, we were talking about our dresses. Like, 
is that? That is the cutest yeah. thing. Sorry, I butted in. That is the cutest thing I have ever seen. I can't believe it. Oh this my god. <laughs> Doesn't it? It is like butter. It is like, like butter. butter. When you first said it, I was like, I need to try that. How can it be like? And then I was like, Oh my god, it is actual it butter. In. Like melted, like melted butter. Yeah. It's been in the microwave a wow. tiny bit. Yeah. Great. Um, but Dale's sweet butter. <laughs> it's not melted. It is not melted. It's definitely butter. With a little bit of sea salt yeah. in the thermomix. <laughs> This is smooth. The specificity here. Glow. We've discovered that Susie can grow broccoli better than I can because of your proximity to the sea. The salt in the air. Yeah. Oh, my God. If you've ever wondered what we talk about when you're not around, it's vegetables. It's the salt air and how it affects my vegetable growth. And why you don't get this. <laughs> why I don't get it. If anyone thinks like we talk about like celebs or boys, oh, gossip. Or Vegetables. vegetables and I need to talk, I, I need to be hyped up for this summer for the vegetable growing. Okay. What have you planned? My motivation already? thing? The rhubarb's growing back. Good. And the rhubarb's Yeah, it just grows, yeah. honestly. Wow. Good morning everybody. If you're wobbling it's because I have stacked you on top of a can of hairspray. Oh, I am so sleepy. But last night was so amazing so i don't know if i got a chance to talk to you too much about what i was doing but clay de po, uh were the sponsor of the harper's bazaar international women's day event and it meant that they got to bring some people along and me and josie and victoria ended up going and we had the best time they had amy lou wood who is if you don't know she's in sex education which is one of my favorite tv shows they had her speaking they had tulip sadiq who is um, she's the Labour MP for Hampstead and Kilburn. And then they had Naomi Alderton. I think that's her last name, Alderton. She wrote The Power. Um, and I actually haven't read that, but I really, really want to read it. I have literally, I think, I think I might even have it at home and I just actually haven't read it yet. Um, but it's being made into a TV series, which I'm so excited about. And I think it will be such a good one to watch with boyfriends to give them a, like a bit of perspective on what it's like to be a woman. Cause she basically like role reverse, not role reverse. There's actually a lot more going on than that, but she basically the the power dynamic was flipped hence why it's called the power and um yeah i've just had that on my to read list for a really long time she's actually so like not actually so funny because that makes it sound like i'm surprised like funnier than i expected she had me absolutely cracking up i would love to sit next to her at dinner she's hilarious but my dinner dates were just as good so i had josie um next to me and we were literally chatting all evening and we didn't get to bed until very 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 late and i'm so tired now but i'm gonna go and meet vic for breakfast josie has an early morning meeting so um very sad that she won't be joining us but uh yeah i'm gonna go for a little breakfast with victoria now my skin is in need of serious tlc today i honestly i feel so tired i need to like try and have a makeup free day this weekend um which i think i will because i think i will be editing all the live long weekend because i have so much editing to do but oh my god look at this i need to just i've got a giant bottle of clay de po the serum i am literally over the moon and um, they also oh my god you will have seen in the blog footage we've got clay de po minis i've never been so happy about anything in my life i've got the full size here as well i put it on my skin last night i skipped my skin and me because my skin was just looking like it just needed like hydration and nothing else it doesn't like it when i like take off my makeup halfway through the day and redo it so on those days i just kind of have to be really gentle with it when i go to sleep so this went all over my face last night and it was delicious and um, this is night this is a night cream by the way i just always tend to use it in the morning because i am a bougie Biatch. I'm just gonna pop this on, pop on some SPF, and then I'm going to just go for breakfast with no makeup on because um, I just don't have time. Anyway, I'm going to stop vlogging like this because it's probably not doing my back any favors. Oh, Thank right. you so much. So oh my god, look at this breakfast, you guys. Look at Victoria's look breakfast. How cute this is. <laughs> You're so cute. Good morning, by the way. Good morning. How did you sleep? Um, not fabulously. <laughs> 
<laughs> She's thank you. She's getting by. Oh my god. That looks great. That's a hash brown, you guys. Oh my god. The breakfast here, we're at the corner. The breakfast here is unreal. Well, you know, need to taste it, but coffee, unreal. There's so much avocado on this. So excited to eat it. So yeah. Don't mind me whilst I dig in. We are back in the room. I've just filmed my outfit of the day for TikTok, but you guys will have seen this kind of already. So this is basically the outfit that I wore on Wednesday, but just with my mango coat over the top instead of the denim shirt jacket. Though it's so cold, like the wind is so cold, it is just blowing straight through this coat. I am actually slightly shocked. Um, so I might have to be really kind of uncool and wear like my black cardigan underneath this, but the black cardigan looks so bad with the like midi skirt. From the back, it looks so like something a nan would wear kind of vibes. Like, oh, it's just, there's no shape to it, no nothing. But I honestly don't know if I can go outside without the extra layer. I'm very excited for today's meeting. So I'm gonna go meet my manager early. Uh, I just need to like check out the room and everything. Um, I'm gonna go meet her and then we're gonna like have a catch up, make our way to the meeting. And then I'm so excited to go home and see my little sniffy shrimpy and just chill and edit. I have so much, I have two videos to edit in two days. So may the odds be ever in my favor. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. The Gleam offices are so quiet today. <sighs> Where is everybody? You can tell it's a Friday. How cool is this? I love coming in here, it's so fun. Here we go. I'm so excited, you guys. Oh my God, you guys, I'm in the Farfetch showroom. They're letting me loose. I am so excited. I don't even know where to start. I'm so overwhelmed. It's also gorgeous. And we've got bags and shoes here. This little Versace is so cute. I am obsessed. I love. I've almost bought this. Oh my god, it's a sign. Mm -hmm. 